Hello, my viewers. I want to welcome you to this exciting lesson in Revit. In this lesson, we are going to model and detail a truss. So you can see from this model that I have the trusses modeled and copied all along like that because they are similar, you know, trusses. And you can use this technique if you have a number of trusses which are similar, you just model one, then copy them. If you have three types, it means that you're just going to model about three trusses. The rest, we are just going to copy them. So you can see that we are able to, you know, to detail the truss like this. And you can detail your truss according to, to, to the region or according to your design, or according to the code, the way you detail them. And you can put as many details as possible so that you're able to, you know, to communicate to the, you know, to the builders. Okay, so you see that this is the one we have detailed. Okay, it's the one that I detailed, including this one. Okay, so now... Some of you may remember that I created a tutorial on detailing of trusses and the method that I use is quite different. If I just go to structure, you see that we have the truss, you know, structural trusses. This is the method that I use in the other video. If you want to check this video, check the card above there. That method is also useful, but you know, it's important that you understand different methods. With this method, even when you are creating very short members like this one, it will allow you to you know, to place such members in the other methods. Make sure that you check you check it out and you see on how you can do such kind of things. Okay, so if you like what I'm doing on this channel, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like my videos, and also share with your friends. And for anyone who would like to learn different softwares like Revit Architecture, Revit Structure, Robot Structure Analysis, and Advanced, to make sure that you check the links in the description. There are some courses, detailed courses that I've created for you. So make sure that you check the links. So, with, so without wasting time, let's get started in this tutorial. So to get started, I've just created a simple model where we are going to model, you know, one truss here and detail it. Of course, you can copy it along there if you want. If I just go to my elevation, you see that I have level 1 and level 2. I just want to create the truss on top there. I'll go to level 2. As you can see, we are right here. I'll just select that one and delete it. That is an elevation which I created. I want to show you on how to create that elevation. Okay, so we are on top here. What we are going to do is to create a truss on any of the grids here. Okay, so I'll just use maybe grid 3 where we are going to create one truss. And later on, you can copy to other locations. That is if you want. Okay, so to do that, just go to view and just create a framing elevation so that that truss that you are going to create to sit right there on the grid. Click on that and then just over the cursor, you can see that you have that marker. So I want to place it there. Then click inside, right click and cancel. So you can see that this view are able to open it by just double clicking the head or you can go to the elevations there. I'm sure it has been created. It's right here. Right here you can double click or just double click the head quickly like that and the view will open. Okay. So I'll select the crop region, expand it this side and by holding the left mouse just like that. So now we can start designing the truss here. So now you can design the trust the way you want because we're just going to use timber, a member, and start, you know, sketching it here and designing the trust the way you want it to be. It's entirely up to you to design that kind of a trust. Okay. So what I'll do, I'll first of all load the member that I want to, you know, to use for this trust by going to insert. I'll go to insert, then click on load family. You see that I have the, the members there. Now, if I just click there, I want to show you that. By default, I'm opening there, but if you can't see the members by default, just go to program data, then go to Autodesk, that is for Revit. Then go to RAVT 2023. Again, it depends on the version that we are using. You can see I also have 2022, but I'll just open 2023, then go to libraries, libraries, then go to English, and then depending on what you have installed, you are able to see, you know, the libraries here. I installed the UK library, it's up to you to install whatever I want to use. Then here, I'm going to structure framing, of course, that's where timber is. Then go to wood. If it's steel, you can go to steel. And I'll just pick that one because I'm going to resize it as you are going to see. Then click on open. So from here, I'm just going to pick any member. Otherwise, these are not the standard, size that, the standard sizes that I want to use. I'm going to resize it. Just select any one of those, then click on open. Right, so once you do that, go to structure. And pick on beam and you see that that is the one that i loaded actually it i loaded a different one which is 
right where is the timber it's right here okay so i'll select on it then click on edit and i want to you know to duplicate i'll call it 75 75 by 150 because that is the size that i want to use click okay i have one which is already there so this is how you can do it so once you resize there then go there and enter in 75 and here the depth is 150 as you can see from there then you just click on apply okay it will be right there okay but i created this one which is the same one if i go to edit there i wasn't able to put a, another name of the same so it can't allow you but this is how i change you know 75 by 100 you are able to duplicate or rename it you can rename it from there or you can duplicate if you want so i'll just click on okay i have the member there 75 by 150 so i'll start by by creating the bottom code i'll just pick that point and that point right click cancel right click cancel now you are not able to see it here make sure that you change to fine level of detail down there if you want you can also go to share that so that you're able to see the bottom code there so here now we are just sketching the we are just modeling you can model it according to how you want it to be all right so i'll select on that one then what i'm going to do is to just move it up there so that it sits on top of the column so i'll go to z offset value and change this one to 150 so that it can sit on top there as you can see now from here let me just you know try to select this one and and just drag it up to somewhere here select this one and drag it up to somewhere here if you want to be so exact with the offset here you can go to reference plane as a construction line just place it there roughly okay just like that then select there then i want to change this one maybe half a meter up to there then i'll just mirror this one by selecting on it then click on draw axis as a mirror then what I'm going to do, I'll hover my cursor there, right click, then go to snap overrides, then pick snap mid between two points. Then I'll just pick the first point there. You can see that it's picking the middle by the triangle there. If I just pick there, it's telling me that that is the middle. Then I can even pick either up or down, but make sure that it's, you know, vertical. Select there. Then you see that it's going to jump here. So while I was placing there because I want it to snap there, I'll just type a L on my keyboard, then pick that one and that one. It will snap there because I want to be, you know, so exact with what I'm doing. So I have the bottom code right there. Then in the middle, I want to put there maybe the vertical, you know, member there. So I'll just go to annotate the line. And I just want to pick the mid part here, maybe from here up to maybe i want maybe the the vertical you know web there to be 1.1 1 .1 or it's somewhere there just click there then what i want to do is to simply leave it okay anyway I, i'll leave it somewhere here somewhere here in the middle i'm just going to mirror this one it doesn't matter then cancel then I'll, i'm going to, to to offset this one by clicking on offset at 1.1 1 .1. you can type in the offset value here 1.1 1 .1 is okay and i'm just going so you can see these are just construction lines i'm going to put the actual members there so you can design the trust that we want it to be select that member right click create similar and i'm just going to pick it from uh, even okay from there up to there just like that then continue until i pick all these points so this is how i want my trust to be as you can see then what i'm going to do is to just select that member right click and create similar and i just want to pick that one and i want the trust maybe to end up to somewhere there as you can see i have my trust now what i'll do is to simply sometimes if you select that one right click and if you try to say create similar sometimes if you want to pick that one and that one okay it it will not allow you to do that but what you need to do don't have to worry just select that one hold control and your left mouse we are just duplicating this one then you are going to you know to rotate this one so i'll just pick the rotate tool and i'll just pick that midpoint there then i'll move it down until it's vertical then click like that then here if i want i, I just want to shorten it because it's too long then 
I'll select like that, then select on that member, then move it. Okay, to move it, I just want to move it from the middle point. So hover my cursor there, no clicking, right click, then snap overrides between two points, between this point and that point. So I've picked it by the middle point, then I'll leave it there. As you can see, it's right there. Then I can simply copy these, these ones again. I'll select on it. Then, oh, actually, I want to copy, not to move it. Right click after hovering your cursor there. Meet between two points from this point and this point. So you can see that multiple is selected there. I just want to, you know, to place a number of them because there are a number of them, as you can see. And this is the last one. I want it to be in the center. Then I'll select that one and just shorten it. Make sure that it's somewhere there in the middle. Okay, show you why you have to do that deliberately. I'll leave this one up. Okay, so we are here. So we just have this member remaining. I'll select that one, right click, create similar. And I want to pick it from this point, maybe up to this point. Is it in the middle? Okay, you can move it if you want. But really, I'll just leave it there. It doesn't matter. Again, make sure that you select that member and you're able to drag it even up to here. It doesn't matter. I'll drag it up to somewhere there, as you can see from here. And I can simply pick this one and copy. Okay, I'll copy it from there and I'll just copy it from that point. As you can see, now this one doesn't seem to work. So I'll delete that one and just select this one, right click. Get similar and I'll just, you know, create this one by one. It's not a problem. I'm able to do that. It's quite fast as you can see from here. All right. So you are done with one part. We just mirror the other part on the other side. Now all you need to do is just to start copying. You need to use the copying tool. Okay, if I select on that one, I can even drag it maybe up to somewhere there, up to the center. Then once I select this one, the one I want to cop, just go to cop to there, just click there and select the one you want to cop. And then, you know, where it's supposed to end, select this one, click that one, and see you start clicking the one you want to cop, then where it's supposed to end, this one, then that one, as you can see, it's very fast. Oh, sorry, make sure that you select the one you want to cop, then that one there, you know, the one you want to copy is this one. So now I want to show you why, why it has to end somewhere there. If I select this one, it creates like that cut. So that's why I said I'll just control Z, make sure that this one, once you select it, it has to end somewhere there within there so that even when you go to cop there, select this member and that one, you see that it's going to be okay. Then from here, you want to copy this one against this one. Okay, you want to copy this one against this one, as you can see. This against this, right? This against that, this against this one. As you can see, it's fast. And this against, oh, sorry, this one against this one. It's going to cut like that. What do we have? This one against this one. Okay, so you can continue finishing the others if you want. Otherwise, if you're able to do it like that, I can select on that one. And you see that. Automatically, it's going to cut because it knows that you applied that copying. So I'll leave it there. Even here, if I just, you know, try to select on that and, oh, sorry, I have to, to drag it, select on it. And let me simply drag it where? Oh, from here, from the dot, just like that. You can see it's going to cop automatically like that. So one side is done so all i need to do is to simply select these members this one or to control and select all these all right i'm holding control and i'm just selecting one by one okay then i'll just mirror from the middle there just pick mirror then right click you know snap overrides mid between two point between this one and Make sure that it's straight and this one then i'll just pick like that then i'll just click on okay you can see that we have all the copings as you can see from here now here it's like we have two members technically we just need one i'll select on that one let me try to delete and i'm just going to copy to copy this one so i'll select that member 
and you can move these ones really i'll not go ahead and start moving these members you can go ahead and do that i'll just go to copying select this member against that one you can move it down it seems to you know to have you know i, I can move it like that you see once you do that let me cancel this one do that and i'm able to drag it like that you can see that once you apply the copying even if you move it it will respect that without a problem as you can see if i try to use my you know the arrow there it will respect the copying just like that even when you move it like that it will still respect that copying and you are able to you know to move these things the way you want i can do that just move it down if i want anyway it's up to you so let me just select on this one and apply the copying there i want to cut this against this as you can see now there is this one which i have to cut there in between there there's a tool that you can use for this one okay let me try to you know we have copying okay if i selected this one this one against this one you see that it's going to cut like that so this one is not a useful tool okay let me go to there is a cut tool now this cut tool you are supposed to you know to create where you maybe let me let me just place a detail line maybe from there up to somewhere there or actually i can even extend this one because that seems to be the middle just like that let me click that one and did it let me try to cut this one from this point so i'll select this one i'll go to this one cut geometry okay select element to be cut or whatever i'll select this one then is it able to pick that line no okay so really you don't have to why you can even you know just drag it like that okay you can even drag it like that so let me just make sure that i you know i cut properly here so i'll just select that one delete it so instead of using a line we can use a reference plane so i'll just pick that point this is just serving as a construction line you are able to cut against this one so make sure that you use the reference plane and not just a line then i'll just you know select like that and extend it select this one extend it okay then once you select that member you know you are able to go to the cut tool there then select the member to be cut and select that reference plane you see that you are able to cut right there in the middle looks cool so i can select on that one once again go to cut and select that member and that one so you can see that you're able to cut in the middle now you can see that i think the way i mirrored it's not perfect but this is just for demonstration purpose you can go ahead and make sure it has to make sure that it, it goes there you know it has to be even on both sides so i didn't mirror it properly but you've seen the the whole point here let me just finish this one select that one for this one it's copying the one to be cut you know against this one as you can see so this one looks perfect okay as you can see if i just go to the 3d view you see that i have that member the size is perfect and everything that way you can design the trust they want, want it to be if i just go to hidden line see that i have my trust now if i want i can even select all those lines i don't want them and i um, should just you know delete those lines even that one if i want i can delete it i don't oh actually i don't delete that one the one you use for cutting there in the middle okay now from here i can go ahead and start you know uh i can go to graphic display there i just like adding maybe a bit of the you know a bit of a shadow there ambient shadow apply there and now it's fine just like this but i'll add the annotations there so if i go to annotate then you know tag by category then make sure that you remove the leader you see that of 75 by 50 i'll just place it there let me go there i maybe i want to change the scale 1 to 50 and i want this if i go to that other one i just want to show you how i did this one so that something close to what we have here i'll go back there you see that i have that tag i'll select on the tag you know edit family and from here i'm not able to see those reference plans i'll just type vg on my keyboard go to annotation and make sure that reference plans is selected apply okay then from here you are just able to move this one it means just select on that one let me try to move it down and see what happens load from there make sure that you load it in that particular project click okay i don't want to save i just want to load it overwrite 
So I'm almost there. I'll select it once again and move it further because I want when I place my tag, it should be you no know, right in the middle. So I'll once again, just drag it like that. Perfect. It's there. If I want, I can even, maybe the font is too much. Let me go there once again. Oh, sorry. I opened something else. I'll click on no. I'll select. I'll make sure that you select the tag and not the member. I just want to change the font. You have to make sure that you go to that tag then select on that tag, then edit. This one is three. If I want to have 2.5, that's okay. Apply from there. Okay. This one should be fine. Okay. All okay, right. No. Override. So as you can see, it's right there. So why I don't, sometimes you are able to move these things manually. Even if you miss it, you can select on that and you are able to move it. You so you, you see like that, but I don't want to use that manual way of you no know, placing the, I want the tag to be placed there. So once I do that, I can go to annotate now tag by category. See that I'm just able to, you know, to place those and it's going to, you know, to be placed right there in the middle. Okay. Some of them are not perfect. They're up there, but those which are going up there, I can simply move them, but the other ones are okay. As you can see, then I can simply select all these, let me just cancel, select all these like that. I don't want to select the, I just want to select the tag. I hold control, select all the tags, just holding the control. And I can even use the, you know, the down arrow on my keyboard, just like that. And you see that I just want it to, to be laid there. I think it's okay. As you can see, I have it there. I can just select that tag because I don't need it. And in this way, you are able to, you know, to, to detail your trusses, you know, it's up to you to add the dimensions you can. As I said, I'm able to drag, but that does not change what is in the, what is in the family there. Otherwise, you can even move these things manually if you want one by one, just like that. You can move it and you can change the font size and everything. That is how I was able to, you know, to create you know, this trust. And in this way, you are able to create your trusses and detail them. As I've said, this method will allow you to customize your trust, you know, place all the members in anywhere. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like my videos and see you in the next upcoming tutorials.